Hi guys, Tech Geek for Life here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can install Android 5.0 Lollipop on your Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Now this is only for the i9250 model, so you can't install it on any of the other variants. However, there is a Lollipop available for the Verizon Galaxy Nexus, but this video is only for the i9250, which is the international GSM model. Now, to do this, your phone will need to be rooted, you, and you will need to be running a custom recovery, and, you, and your bootloader will need to be unlocked. And to do any of those three things, you can just Google it or search on XDA. Uh, now, this is a custom ROM, which I'll leave a link to from XDA in the description below. And also, leave some written instructions on how to do this, if you don't quite understand what I'm doing in the video. Um, there's two files which you'll need to download. Uh, one being the actual ROM zip file itself and one being the gapp zip file uh, You don't actually need the gapp zip file if you don't want to use Google Apps, but You may as well install it anyway uh, Currently my Galaxy Nexus is running Android 4.4.4 KitKat And I'm running CyanogenMod11 Right, let's get the process started We'll switch off the phone. Mm. And to boot into recovery mode, you hold volume down, volume up, and the power button all at the same time. And then you get to the bootloader menu. And then you use the volume buttons to navigate through the different options. So Press down once, you get to restart bootloader, press down again and you get to recovery mode. Or well, you get to the option for recovery mode and then you press the power button once. And now we should be booting into recovery. Now this custom ROM isn't fully functional or anywhere near fully functional at the moment. So don't go flashing this on your phone if you want to keep using your phone every day. Well, you can, but you'll just have to flash back to a different ROM. Um, there's lots of bugs, lots of things not working, but that's because it's in its early stages of development at the moment. But hopefully we should see Science Mod 12, or this ROM being developed, or this, this ROM which I'm going to show you being developed further within a few months or so. So, what, what you're going to want to do first is go to Wipe Data Slash Factory Reset. Now, this will erase everything on your phone, although it should not erase your USB storage which is so your internal storage but this will erase all your data and this will look different if you're using TeamWin recovery pro project but I'm using Clockware Mod Recovery that's all done now we're going to want to go to mounts and storage and then we're going to want to go to where is it uh, mount system and then you want to go to format system this will erase all of your the system files on your phone so if you do this you won't be able to boot up straight away so only do this if you're actually going to flash the ROM itself so format system And you can actually flash this uh, while running any Android version on your phone, so long as your phone is rooted and running a custom recovery and the bootload was unlocked. Right, now we want to go back, then we're going to want to go to install zip. And uh, now when you download the two files themselves, you don't have to put them into any folder. It's best to probably just put them onto the root directory of your internal storage because then they're easier to find. But Go to choose zip from SD card. Don't know if you can see that, but choose it from SD card. Then zero. Then there's the folder which I have the zip files in. Zero lollipops. Uh, the zero is just so it goes at the top of the list. But we'll go into that. And the first file you're going to want to flash is the one that says evermail slash no, dash AOSP dash 5.0 blah blah blah. Yes, install. Uh, 
and this should only take about a minute or so. And there we go, install from SD card complete. Now you want to go to choose it from SD card again, then find your folder again. And now you want to uh, install fml-g apps. Yes, install, this should be much quicker. And there we go, install from SD card complete. Now you're going to go back, then reboot system now. Uh, ignore that, click no. And now we should be booting into Android 5.0 Lollipop. And the initial boot will take some time compared to any other boot.
And there we go. We are boost up here into Lollipop, and there you go straight away. Stuff not working. English United Kingdom. Skip. Skip anyway. Skip. Straight away you can see the material design. And finish. And if we go to settings really quickly. About phone, and there you can see Android version 5.0. And the lollipop is different colors. And there you go. And there you go. You're now running Android 5.0 Lollipop on your Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Now it's quite nice to see this running on the Galaxy Nexus considering it's now a three year old device. But uh, as always there's always developers out there who are determined to get new Android versions running on these old phones. But there you have it, Lollipop on a three-year-old device. Uh, if please, please like, favorite, and subscribe if you enjoy my videos, and leave any suggestions for videos which you may have in the in the comments down below. And thank you for watching.